Uh, our last lesson, uh, lesson we talk about the simplifying fraction. So today we want to talk about a new subtopic still under ratio and proportion. And what we want to talk about today is converting fraction, uh, converting fraction into ratio. Let's look at an example. Our first example, three quarters. It is very important that before you do maths, you read the question and you understand. So let's try to understand the question first. Three quarters of all the students in a polytechnic are boys. What fraction, what is the ratio of boys to girls in the polytechnic? So that is the question. So we have been given the what? We have been given the fraction of boys, but we don't have the fraction of girls here. But we can get the fraction of girls. So we have been told that now here we have boys and we have girls in this polytechnic. So let letter B represent boys and letter G represent girls here. So we have been told that three quarters are of the students, are what? Three quarters of the students here are boys. So that is the fraction of boys. From here we can get the fraction of girls. We know that normally we use the denominator. We normally use the denominator here to get the total fraction. From what we have here in the denominator, we have four. To mean now, the total fraction here is four out of four. So if the total fraction of girls and boys is four all over four. So from there, we can get the fraction of girl, the fraction of girls. That is four all over four minus three all over four. Our answer will be one all over four. Okay, so to mean class, the fraction of girls here is one all over four. Now we know the fraction of girls. The fraction of girls is one all over four. The fraction of boys is three or four. We were asked what is the ratio of boys to girls. This is not ratio, this is in fraction form. Now let's turn this one into fraction. This one, the statement here means that when we have Three boys. Where there are three boys, there's one girl, there's one girl. Where there's three boys, there's one, one girl. So now the ratio here, we are using the what? We are using the numerator to do what? To get our fra, our fraction, our, our ratio, sorry. So to mean the ratio of boys, of boys to girls is three to one. We are told here boys to girls, not girls to boys. If you are told girls to boys, girls to boys, now the ratio here will be one to three. But that was not our question. Our question here, what is the ratio of boys to, girl, to girls? So the ratio of boys to girls here will be three to, three to one. So that is our answer there. Let's look at the next example. That is converting percentage into, uh, conver uh, converting percentage into ratio. What we were having here was fraction to ratio, but here now percentage to, ra to ratio. Let's look at an example. 30% of all the animals in the farm are sheep. So to, know, to mean here now we know the percentage of the what? Of the sheep. The rest are cows. What is the ratio of sheep to cows? Now here we were given, we were given, when you look at the first example, we were given uh, the number of animals in what? In, uh, in, fr in fraction. But here, when you look at here now, we were given the number of people here uh, uh, in fraction, but here, the number here is given into percentage form. Now, we want to change this percentage into what? Into, ra into ratio. So we have sheep to what? To cow. So we have sheep to cow. Now, cows. Sorry. So 30% of all the animals are, the 30% are sheep. So here we have the percentage of sheep we know, which is 30. Now from here, we can get, we are not told the percentage of the cow, but we can get the percentage of the cows here. How can you get the percentage of the cows? The percentage of the cows here, we can get, because we know the total percentage of sheep and cows, of the all animals here, is 100%. That is the total percentage. The total percentage of all the animals in the farm here are 100%. Already one of the 
uh, the number of sheep here we have given, the percentage of the sheep here we are given to be 30%. To mean, now we can get the what? The percentage of the cows. How can we do that? That is 100%, which is the total percentage of the animals, minus 30, which is the percentage of the what? Of the sheep. We are going to have 7, 70%. To mean the percentage of the cows are, uh, is 30 uh, 70 percent sorry now from here we can now get what we can get the fraction of uh, sheep to cows now sheep as cow let's represent that one by letter c so 30 percent to 70 percent now you can't leave your answer like this if you leave your answer like this my friend you are wrong so we should simplify and that's why we started with simplifying what our, our previous lesson, we talk about simplifying ratio. Now here also it is very important for us to simplify our, our ratio here. So this one, in a, a simplest way, you can just say zero to go with zero. This one is just like 30 out of 70. So you are told to simplify this one, zero goes with Z, zero. So you are going to have three to what? Three all over seven, which is three to seven. So our final answer will be three to seven. So that is our answer. Uh, that is the end of our lesson today. Uh, please make sure that you do the exercise that is appearing on your screen and you submit your work at the right time today. Uh, please stay safe uh, during this pandemic uh, that is coronavirus so that we protect ourselves from spreading the disease or us getting the disease.